Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be creating a new custom notification in Salesforce. Specifically, it's gonna be a desktop notification that will pop up and highlight on the bell icon. Uh, the scenario we're gonna work with is when the account owner is changed, it's gonna notify the new owner that they have had an account assigned to them. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and we are gonna go ahead and jump into this video. First things first, we are actually gonna to need to go ahead and create the new custom notification. To do this, we're gonna go in quick find and you can just search notification, start typing it and it'll auto fill it in. So we're gonna select custom notifications. As you can see, I don't have any custom notifications created here. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit new to create the new one here. We're gonna call this account notification. And this is important here when you're creating your custom notification, there are two supported channels. So desktop means that the bell icon will highlight as red, it'll show one or two notifications. If you select mobile, it'll notify anyone on the mobile app that is in the, uh, that needs to be notified of the record chain. For this test scenario, we're only gonna be doing desktop and we're gonna hit save. Now we have this saved here. As you can see, we got the notification name, the API name, nothing in the namespace, but we have that desktop check. What's important and what's we'll, what we will need in the next part is the API name for our flow. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit that gear icon and go ahead and open up another page of setup and keep this on a separate tab so I can come back and grab this in a minute. Now on the other tab, we're gonna go ahead and go to our flow and we're gonna go ahead and hit new flow. Now the type of flow we're gonna be using is a record triggered flow. You could also use a scheduled triggered flow, which I'll create a video in the future on scheduled triggered flows. I haven't done that yet, so be on the lookout for that in the future. But you can send a notification from any of the flow types. So we're gonna do a record triggered flow for this scenario. And this will be based off the account object. And we're gonna go ahead and do this when it's created and updated. And I'm gonna specify the conditions that uh, is for when the owner is changed. So we'll have the owner ID and you hit the drop down and change that to is changed. And over here, you're gonna to want to hit put in true. So every time it is changed. Now it's saying when to run the flow, every time a record is updated to meet the criteria, that's perfect. And I want it to run after save, which is awesome. I like that. What we wanna do is, is we're gonna create the new notification action. But first, we're actually gonna to need to create a couple of variables here. So you're gonna hit the toggle toolbox here, and we're gonna hit new resource. And the resource type, you're gonna hit formula. Now in the formula, we're gonna to need to create the title and body of the message we want the users to see. We're gonna call this title. You can add a description if you'd like. The data type is gonna be text. Now, when it says formula here, we're gonna enter in exactly what we want the title to say. So I wanna put a quote, a little quote, a little tick mark there, a little quote mark. Then I wanna say, you have a new account. Now, if you wanna have a space between your wording, make sure you put a space and then the little tick mark there as well. And then you're gonna put the plus sign. So that means you're adding the next part of what you would like in the title. And so you have a new account and I'm gonna go into the formula uh, underneath formula here under insert a resource and I wanna put the account name that I've just been assigned, right? So the record that triggered the flow is right here. That's record prior, excuse me. We have record that triggered the flow here is record. And we're just gonna type name and that's gonna be the account name. And we're gonna put that right there. Now let's check the syntax. And you got the green check mark, so it is valid. So we're gonna hit done. Now we need to add a resource for the body. So we're gonna do the exact same thing, formula. We can call this body. And then I'm, you can say like, um, maybe something like click to view account. And I'm not gonna insert anything else in here. Just click to view account, hit the check syntax. Oh, I gotta select my data type. See, I forgot that. We'll select text and look at that. Now the green check mark is good to go. Hit done. So now we have our, what we're gonna use for the notification created. Now we need to create one more resource as well. 
That is to store the users that we're going to notify that the account owner has changed. So this is going to be a variable type and we're going to call this, you can call it record ID or recipient. I'm just going to call it record ID. You can call it whatever you'd like. And under data type, it's going to be text and you can allow multiple values if you'd like as a collection. Maybe you want to send the notification to a group of users. That's perfectly fine. You can select that. This is only going to be one user, but I'm going to go ahead and select it. It does not matter. And I want to make sure I check that these are available to use in the flow for input or output. I like to select those so I can use them. Now, in this scenario, it's pretty easy to add the users we want to notify to the collection variable record ID we just created. We're just going to hit add element. And in this case, we're going to use the assignment variable. And we're going to add the, put add to collection is what I like to call it. All right, perfect. So set variables. Each variable is modified by the operator and value combination. Okay, so the variable is record ID add, and you're going to want to add the from the record that triggered the flow, the owner ID. Now what that's saying is it's just it collects the owner IDs and it's going to notify those users in Salesforce. Now maybe you would want to maybe if the account owner changes in your scenario, you wanted to notify all the contacts. You could do that in this scenario as well. You just need to make sure you add them all to the collection variable. We're going to hit done. And there's one other element we need to add before we can send the notification. We need to get the custom notification we created earlier because we're going to need that in a minute. So we're going to go to get records and we're going to call this get notification. Now under objects, you're going to put custom notification type under field. I like to use developer name equals, and then all you got to do is just grab this API name and then put it right here. And now you are good to go. And it's going to store that record on the first record it finds and stores all the fields done. Awesome. Now we're going to add another element under action and we're going to search for send custom notification. Now I just like to call this send desktop notification. Now under the custom notification type ID, you're actually going to use that select the get element we just got. So custom notification type from get notification, you're going to click here and you're going to hit ID and custom notification ID. That's what you want. Notification body, that's going to be that formula we created earlier called body, then title. Now the recipient IDs is going to be record IDs. As you remember earlier, that's where we added the users we want to notify. So we're going to select that. Now, down here, we have the target ID. When you turn this on, and when the user clicks on that notification, where is it going to take them? We need to tell the flow, the notification, where to send the user. This is pretty simple in this case. You're just going to go to the record, and then you can put this ID, and that's going to send it to the account, uh, the account that triggered the flow. Now we're going to hit done, and we need to save our flow. Name it whatever you like. Now we're going to go ahead and debug it. And we're going to hit debug and we're going to run it immediately. I'm going to skip those start requirements. So we're going to run it on Express Logistics and Transport. We're going to hit run. As you can see, it was completed successfully. I'm just going to look and see how it did. So assignment, add to collection. It looks like you got the owner ID here and it added it to record ID. Get records to get the notification. It successfully found them. And under the send notification, we had inputs. There is the custom notification type ID. It got it, plugged it in. The body is click to view account. The title is you have a new account, express logistics and transport. And then there's the recipients there. And the target ID is the record that triggered the flow. Let's actually turn this bad boy on and see how it works. So it was activated. Now let's go find us an account to mess with here. It's the first one I came across. Now I may be the owner. Oh no, this is under Jimmy James, which is perfect. So this is if this works here. We're going to hit change owner. We're going to change it to me, Salesforce Ethan. And then there's transfer open opportunities and all this other stuff you can select. Send notification email. I'm not going to select that because that's not part of what we're testing. We're going to hit change owner. Look at that on the top right. You see the bell with a one. You have a new account, Burlington Textiles Corp of America. Click to view account. I'm already on the account, but maybe you're on the home page and someone changes the account to you. So if they come back over here, you click it. Let's see if it takes us to the account. Look at that. Took us straight to the account. So that is how you can create a custom notification and use a flow to notify the user on their desktop.
pretty straightforward. The flow can get more complicated the more stuff you want to add into it, especially if you're adding in multiple users. But if you enjoyed this type of video, make sure to leave a like so I know to make more videos like this in the future. I really appreciate you checking out my video, and I will see you in the next one.